The X-Series now offers a standard multi-viewer function, not meant to replace the big monitor wall you already have in your control room, but as a powerful tool for displaying the things that don't necessarily need to be seen by everyone. So to get to the multi-viewer function, I'm going to go to Engineering, Setup, Switcher, Output, and select Multi-Viewer. So first you can see that here I can select between Multi-Viewer 1 and Multi-Viewer 2. How many output boards you have determines how many multi-viewers. There's one per output card. So if you have 24 outputs, you'll have one multi-viewer. And if you have 48 outputs, you'll have two of them. Notice they change. So let's concentrate on multi-viewer one here. So I have a choice here. The split mode of either split 10, which you can see here, kind of gives you the traditional you know, two large and eight small frames. Or I can go to a simple quad split. It's up to you. Those are the two choices. Let's go back here. I can turn all the names on or off. I can also turn off individual names. I can also turn on or off the borders separating the video channels. Now let's go and change the output assignment so we can change what video is feeding those windows. So you see here in this table, I've got 10 windows and what output number and what the names are. So over here on the left hand side, I'm going to select frame memory 5. And you can see here, here's another shameless plug for two of my children. And I'm going to come down to this next window over here, and let's go ahead and put something like aux 8 in here, which gives us another thing. Now, over here on this window, we have ME2 Program 2. If I put Program 2 of ME2 to air, you'll notice I now get a red tally. And if I cut it off air, it'll go green. So we have a red tally for on air and a green tally for preset. 